Hey, it's James the Forager here, and today we're looking at these beauties just down here, often found growing out in the fields, just like this. It's an edible horse mushroom. Let's take a look at how we had to identify this one. Firstly, the size. Horse mushrooms are usually quite large, with a cap that can span between 8 to 20 centimetres in diameter. Their young caps are rounded, becoming flat and slightly indented as they mature. They can show light and slow yellow staining on the cap. You can see it on these ones. Next, let's have a look at the gills. These gilled gems start with a slight pinkish hue, maturing into a brown colour, which is classic of the agaricus mushrooms, which this is one. It's important that they're not pure white, so we don't want to confuse them with potentially deadly amanitas. When they're very young, the gills are covered from the underneath, and this is a cogwheel look. Once this falls away and the spores are ready to fall out, we look for the ring on the stem. Horse mushrooms have a movable white ring that's a clear identifier of them. It's like each mushroom is wearing its own unique band for the fungi festival. And then there's the smell. This is really important for this one. Take a whiff of this mushroom. A horse mushroom should remind you of anise. Yes, that's right. It's unique licorice like scent. Very distinct and unmistakable for this one. Finally, the base of the stem. Horse mushrooms have a bulbous base, but it's not a sack like vulva like you'd get on some of the dangerous anim amanitas. It's a classic agaric. The things we're looking for are grassland, white cap, pink to brown gills, no sac or vulva, and we're almost there. The only thing we could potentially confuse this one with that could cause us any stomach upset is something called a yellow stainer, which is also agaric. And when it's damaged, it turns rapidly yellow, and it also has a slight smell of chemicals, something like ink. Um, for cooking, we use it in any recipe, we'd use regular store-bought mushrooms. They're in the same family, they're both agarics. However, this one has a slight anise flavour, accompanies fish really well. But we've got loads of videos for how to cook them up, so why not check those out? That's it, horse mushrooms. Enjoy and happy foraging.